Hi children, how are you? I thought that today we would talk about frogs and their life cycles. If we were at nursery, we'd be able to go and visit the pond and see all the amazing things that might be happening. Now, before we were at home, some of us had the frog spawn in our classrooms. I would imagine now, if we went back to the nursery, that that frog spawn would have hatched. Now, before we start looking at each of the stages, I wanted to show you how all these pictures have been put into a circle or a cycle, like a bicycle wheel, a cycle. They go round in a circle. It's never ending, it never stops. So for example, say this is the mummy frog. She lays all her frog spawn. Out of the frog spawn hatches the tadpoles, then become froglets, and then the froglets eventually turn into frogs. Now, shall we have a look at each picture a little bit closer and see what we notice? So, the frog spawn. You'll see I've written the words on each picture. Can you see the frog spawn is very jelly-like and squishy? Now, when we've seen this in the pond at nursery, it floats on the top. And when we've held it in our hands, it's got like a jelly consistency to it. And then all these little black bits here, that's the little tadpoles that will be coming out. Now, here we are, here's our arrow going round to the next part. Now, this is the tadpole. Look, what can you see has grown? Yes, his tail. So his tail is very long to help him swim because once he comes out of this frog spawn, he's going to be quite an interesting meal for other predators, which means somebody might want to eat him. So he needs to have a long tail to help him hide amongst all the weeds. Now, over time, that little tadpole will start to grow legs. Now we know it's a froglet because it still has the very long tail. You can see though that it will have one, two, three, and then its fourth leg is just hiding. And if he was living in the pond, he'd be very camouflaged. Now, just have a think for a minute. What is camouflage? What does that mean? Yes, that's right. If we are camouflaged, it means that we are hidden. Nothing can see us. Now, what then happens is the froglet loses its tail and these very strong back legs start to grow. Look how long they are, because that's going to help them to jump. Now, if we look closer here, we can see that the frog has little bits of skin between its toes as such they're called webbed webbed feet and he also I think would camouflage very well so that is the life cycle of a frog now what I also thought that we would do today if you have a look here I've created a picture and I bet already some of you know what song I might be singing with you We've got a log and we've got frogs. Let's count how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Show me five on your fingers. Give your fingers a wiggle, that's it. Show all of them, let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm going to sing this song a little bit differently today. Now, some of the honeycomb children will know that when we sing it in, in our class, we use a little bit of makaton, which means we use our hands to sign. So, we will sing it once and then perhaps you can go away and you can practice at home and then maybe you could send me a video of you practicing singing five green speckled frogs in makaton. Okay, so I'll sit face on to you so that you can see and I'll do it reasonably slowly, okay? So here we go. Five green and speckled frogs 
sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Let's get rid of him, here we go. Hop, hop, hop. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were, let's count together. One, two, three, four green speckled frogs, glub, glub. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, ribbit, 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 in he goes, where it was nice and cool. Then there were, let's count together, one, two, three. Can you see that when we are taking away, our number is getting less? We started with five and now we've got three because we're taking away. So here we go, are you ready? Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, here he goes, ribbit, where it was nice and cool, then there were one, two, two green speckled frogs, glub, glub, nearly there. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, hop, 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 where it was nice and cool. Then there was, how many? One, everybody show me one. One green speckled frog, glub, glub. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Then there were, how many? That's right, none. There were no more green speckled frogs, glub, glub. Well done, that was really brilliant. I could hear you singing. Now, I think that the next time I see you, I think I would like to read you a story maybe about some frogs, or maybe Mrs. Freeman might read you a story about some frogs. But for today, I'm going to say goodbye, and I look forward to having some pictures or videos sent to me. Bye everybody, bye.